everybody now honestly on this episode i decided after two episodes of trying to just read it and play it you know what it needs a little more spice to it so you know what i've done as hinted in my title i brought these guys some personalities and we're gonna try and play it with the voices now different personalities different characters now it's my first time trying to do it so freaking me honestly if i forget what voice they do later on but honestly Gotta give this a shot. Gonna start soon or later, so here we go. And um, I guess I'll start with me. So can, let's continue on with the story. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Hey, I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayuri. Oh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Uh, Monica? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Eerie, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I fail to sound enthusiastic, but Sayuri still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, uh, did you remember to write a poem last night? Y yeah My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I have never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sayuri and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayuri's is on a wrinkled sheet of blue leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Now, who should I show my poem to first? Sayuri, Natsuki, Yuri, or Monica? Well, I kind of want to go with Sayuri since we're trying to do the girl next door uh, pathway, so Sayuri it is. I'm definitely most comfortable sharing it with Sayuri first. She's my good friend after all. Hmm. Oh my goodness! This is so good, Harry! Hey? I love it! I had no idea you were such a good writer! Sayuri, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either! Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even Atsuki's. Are you sure you don't like it because I wrote it? Hey? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. But I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, if it's not just a poem, it's an it's an airy poem. Yeah! And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. 
Sayuri hugs a sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayuri. <laughs> I'm really happy that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Eerie. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people, that's something only a really good for evil do. Thanks, Sayuri. I'm not sure if Sayuri sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again... I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Yay! Now you read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Ah, <sighs> dear sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you tasty, trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could see forever. But I'm not mad, I want breakfast. Sayuri, this is just a guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? No! Just, just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still try my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or... How should I put it? it? Sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. I didn't care. Even though you were late to school? Oop. <laughs> Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> This was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Oh dear, who should I show my poem to next? Harry. Having a good time so far. No. Can't remember that one. Alright. Uh, yeah. Good. Uh, glad to hear it. By the way, uh, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any, uh, suggestions for the club, uh, like new activities or things we could do better, I'm always. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, wanna share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Oh, don't worry, Harry. Well, I'm a little uh, embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like this one. Makes me think of something Sayuri would like. Is that so? You and Sayuri are, are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you uh, had those sort of things in common. Uh, well... We 
may be good friends, but Sayuri and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that might be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that uh, you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. Sounds like uh, the two of you are uh, really care about uh, each other's well-being. Even if you show it in uh, different ways, it ends up being more uh, similar than you think. So uh, I think that's the kind of vibe I uh, get when I run me a poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? Uh, I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. Well, in any case, so Yuri's writing has a uh, kind of general feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like uh, happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, well to uh, each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to uh, expand them a little bit, either. You know what I mean? Uh, no. I'm sure, I'll, um, I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's all. Uh, that's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might, uh, be a little biased toward their own kinds of styles, but I always uh, hope you find what suits you the most. So don't forget to uh, write uh, the way uh, everyone wants you to uh, write. It's not like you have to worry about uh, pressing them or anything. <laughs> anyway, uh, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, uh, I'm not very good. You, seem you sound pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, uh, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I uh, always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. It could couldn't have been me. See? The direction the spark... The sp Is that spackle? Spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas, already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out, and he, on the other side, was looking in. Wow. So, uh, what'd you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm really not the right person to ask for feedback. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been uh, putting emphasis on the uh, timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can uh, be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I can, if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's uh, been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about uh, deep stuff like that because, uh, coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is, uh, better with friends with each other. Anyway, here's Bonacle's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're uh, writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too, uh, fixate on a specific point. If you try to so hard to make it perfect, then you'll uh, never make any progress. Just uh, force yourself to get something down on the paper and tie it up later. Another way to think about it is uh, this. If you uh, keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. 
So just move your hand and uh, go with the flow. That's my uh, advice for the day. Thanks for listening. Uh, who should I show my poem to next? Yuri or Natsuki? Yuri. Hmm. Oh yeah. Let's see. What was her voice? All right. Hmm. 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 Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Ooh. S Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Uh, um. It's fine. It's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time reading a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that maybe it might be after reading through it. Ah, uh, so it's that bad. No! Did I just raise my voice? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes, and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that they both style and the expressive gifts are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It may take you some time, but it will come with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Um. Well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if it's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present, the living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. I, I'm sorry if I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Ah, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Ooh, that's a relief. 
because unfortunately we're gonna have to end the episode on this note so i'd like to thank you guys for joining us here on finding love i hope you like the personalities because they're gonna stick to the end the rest of this game so until next time guys a rising gamer here signing off